Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Tired of doing the same thing over and over again? What if there's a better way? Well, my friend, there is. But first, let me let you in on a big secret. It's a concept that highly successful people are using. This is what I call the concept of leverage. Let me start with the definition of income. Well, you know the formula. It's income equals rate times time, right? Say your rate is $10 per hour, so if you work 8 hours, then you get paid $80. Pretty simple, huh? Now, what do people do to try to increase their income? They increase their time. So, some people work more hours or get two jobs. But what the real majority of people do to try to increase their income is to increase their rates. This is the main reason why we are told to get a good education so we'll get a good job. So, people try to get promoted, some pursue better careers, or maybe take an MBA or PhD. All these strategies simply to increase the rates. This is what I call the employee mindset. Now, I'm not saying there's something wrong with this. What I'm just saying is, there is a better way. Let me talk to you about the new mindset, the leverage mindset, or what I call the entrepreneur mindset. Let's step back for a while to see the difference. Again, income equals rate times time. Here's the enlightened definition of income. It is income equals rate times time times leverage. What is leverage? Leverage is something that you use to gain maximum advantage. Let's say you want to move a huge stone. You use a lever. This is the same principle when you have a flat tire. You don't use your hands to lift the car, right? You use a jack. So basically, you leverage your efforts through the lever or a jack. And this is what the concept of leverage is all about. It's all about leveraging your efforts. Now, let's take a look at some of the most successful people and see how they leverage. Business owners. Business owners or entrepreneurs leverage their income through their employees. Let's say you as a business owner has 100 people. Then you are basically leveraging your income through those 100 employees. One of the richest men during his time has profoundly put the concept of leverage in a single statement. J. Paul Getty said, I'd rather have 1% of the efforts of 100 people than 100% of my own efforts. Now, let's take a look at investors. Investors leverage their income through their money to invest in companies who in turn leverage through their employees that create sales. Even superstars leverage too. Superstars leverage their income through their skills that allow them to earn endorsement income. Like if you're LeBron James from the numbers of shoes sold, or if you're Lady Gaga from the number of records sold. So there you go. The highly successful people who are financially secured increase their income not by focusing on increasing their rates or time, but by increasing the leverage. On the other hand, employees basically do not have leverage income because their income is based on their own efforts. So Leverage equals 1, and therefore, income equals rate times time. I get it now. It's a very enlightening concept. But how can I create leverage income? And where do I start? Are you ready to get out of your cave? Check out netbiznow.com and discover how you can start creating leverage income. And yes, my friend, even a caveman can do it. So, come on, man. Let's go.